Huge dumps of plastic are polluting Scotland's coastline, with environmentalists warning the issue is getting worse. The Scottish Government has pledged half a million pounds to map these deposits, but campaigners say more needs to be done to combat the rising tide of waste. Well, James Chain is at one of the beauty spot beaches blighted by the problem. Well, I'm surrounded by some of Scotland's most beautiful scenery, but I'm also stood in one of our pollution's hot spots. And efforts are now underway to try and map these places. They've been led so far by communities and environmental organisations, with the Scottish Government putting in that money as well. Still, ask an expert, and we have for a list of these places, and they can't yet give you one. What they can give you is warnings about the sheer amount of plastic being washed up on our shorelines. Some of Scotland's most beautiful beaches are sinking beneath a sea of plastic. When the tide goes out at Arica, it leaves behind piles of the stuff. This is one of Scotland's litter sinks, places where tide, wind and geography combine to create pockets of pollution. They're becoming a problem across the country. Head east, another postcard scene, but below the Forth Road Bridge, more marine waste. Every few months, environmentalists try to clean it. Every time, the plastic comes right back. With even just one minute, a couple of us just scouring the beach, it didn't take long to kind of accumulate this massive pile of litter here. And just from having a look, it's mostly it's single-use plastic bottles, it's plastic toys, it's plastic cotton bud stems that people have flushed down the toilet. Alongside them, tiny pellets of broken down plastic. These have now been found on more than 400 Scottish beaches. Scottish government scientists say they can pull a jarful from our seas in 15 minutes. Last year, half a million were collected on one beach near Falkirk. It's a significant issue for Scotland, yeah. I mean, these, these pellets, when they enter the marine environment, they can pose a significant threat to, uh, to marine life. Um, they look a lot like fish eggs, um, so they can be ingested by birds, by farmers, by puffins, um, and that can lead to starvation. That's disgusting. Communities have led the way when it comes to cleaning the beaches, but the Scottish Government says it's increasing its efforts. It's committed half a million pounds to tackle the litter sinks problem. Some say that won't be enough. Well, half a million has to has to be a start. Um, uh, the the what, one of the difficulties is identifying what is a what is a litter sink. I mean, there there, there is beach pollution, but that doesn't necessarily mean that beach is a litter sink. In the longer term, the medium and longer term, the most important thing is can we stop it happening in the first place? This should be one of the most beautiful bits of Scotland, but when the tide moves out at Arica, the problem becomes apparent for all to see. This beach is likely to act as a case study, a testbed for Scottish Government efforts to at least begin solving the problem. In the meantime, the plastic continues to pile up. It can take hundreds of years to decompose, and some never disappears entirely. Politicians and environmentalists alike have told us they want to seize the moment, whilst public interest is running high. Well, the half million pounds that we heard about isn't the only thing that they're doing. Ministers have told us they're considering extending the ban on plastic cotton buds to other plastic-related products. They'll also hold an international conference on plastics in Scotland next year. They say that they're leading the way, at least in the UK, on this, but they stress that it's not just a Scottish problem, not just a UK problem, but a global one. James and Araka, thank you.